OMG! What do you want now? A traitor? Get over it. Move on. The crimes you have committed against humanity are unforgivable. You are the most obsessive bastard I have ever known. If this were the 23rd century, you would have been weeded out and put on a planet with weak and primitive barbarians. Only intelligent, civilized people live on Earth in my time. This is not the 23rd century, you idiot. It is my duty to weed you out. You are a thorn in the side of humanity's evolution. For the good of the many, the one must be destroyed. Go home, Eugene, and play Star Trek as far away from me as possible. Damn it, Van Roberts, you will not escape. What is that? Is a phaser set on stun or kill? Now get away from me. Play your games with someone else. so little of me. Think I'm so delusional I can't tell the difference between a toy phaser and a real gun? Don't think you'll make that mistake again. Elitist traitor? You think you're too good to join the Starfleet movement? You try to control us, but you can't. See if you'll ever be flipping about the current directive again, traitor. That Eugene Winkle is a real jerk. So this is how it all ends. At least his stupid speech is finished. After every insane thing I witnessed and endured over the last two months, I realize I must have been a real badass in a past life to receive so much negative karma. Personally, I don't think I deserve this. As I see my life flash before my eyes, I realize I need a new prescription of glasses. Too late now. Too late. This is it. Life is indeed a far more peculiar experience than I ever could have imagined. What's next? What's next? I'm not Alex. What's your name? Alex. But that's just a coincidence. Don't let it confuse you. I'm your guardian angel. I'm taking on the form of the person you trust most to make your transition more of a mellow, laid-back groove. Well, I never trusted Alex that much. Well, you're stuck with this image. It takes a heck of a lot of effort and concentration to take on a human guise. No problem. You still need to learn trust. There are so many levels you haven't attained yet. I'm only human. <laughs> Not anymore. So, there really is life after death. No, there isn't. This is just an illusion your brain has created. As all of your neuron impulses go off in one final euphoric moment. Your brain will be shutting down completely in five seconds. What? Welcome to the abyss. Gotcha! <laughs> I love pulling that one on all you humans. You're so gullible. Marvelous. Out of all the guardian angels, I get the one who's a practical joke. Actually, most of us are practical jokers. You have to be in order to survive in this business. Hmm. Hmm. So, now what? <clears throat> Too impatient. 
too impatient. Spin off with the notebook. Hey, was Alex right about knowing certain people from other lifetimes? Yes, he has a relatively decent grasp on the nature of the soul. So who did I know? You won't let me. Eugene Winkle. No, no, anyone but Eugene Winkle. He was your wife in a past life. You had her beheaded. This is his way of paying you back. Ugh, I feel so dirty. Dan, I can't believe it's you. Crystal. Oh, Crystal. How did you get here? I thought you were on the mothership. I was. But a battleship from the Andromeda Galaxy mistook the ship that I was on for a defense cruiser from Earth and blew us to pieces. You're kidding. It turns out an entire fleet of battleships is on its way to conquer and enslave the whole planet. Earth is going to be invaded by aliens? Looks like it. Earth won't stand a chance. That battleship was damn wicked. Is this true? Afraid so. Those space invaders are going to have centuries of bad karma to pay off. They've been bullying planets around for two million years. My god. I guess I died in the nick of time. Timing is everything, my friend. This isn't such a bad turn of events after all. What's that? A new arrival is putting on a concert. He's pretty good. That's Lobo. I thought you might recognize him. Lobo. <laughs>